any emotions of having your first draft out fall? Yeah. I, I don't want to get sappy, but I, <laughs> I found out today that I had 100 voicemails on my office line because I've never used it because <laughs> everybody uses my cell. And it was ironic. You know, they went way back, right? They went way back. And there was actually one from Paul. And it was, and it was a pre-draft you know, email. And it just said, hey, it's Neil. It's Paul. Give me a call on my cell. I'll try you on your cell. Just want to talk about I want to say who the players were because we didn't have drafting them. Want to catch up on these guys. Was watching some film. So that, it's hard. You know, I don't think there's an environment. Look, as ecstatic as he would have been sitting courtside with us going to the Western Conference Finals, and seeing that plan that was put in place four years ago, you know, when we kind of reset the roster, nothing made him happier than being in this room tonight. And, and it was an interesting day for us today because what we do is we lock our boards in Wednesday night. We don't want any dra day of draft, you know, fluctuations and second guessing and being influenced by, you know, outside um, voices and you know so we sent our stuff to Jody last night and said this is you know this is our order this is how we're gonna go we're locked in at 25 if we don't make a move and um, and we we played it by that script but you know we missed it because you know Paul would come and you know he he'd stop at the pancake house and he'd have his pancakes and his apple fritter and he'd get here around 10 and you know we'd find a bunch of guys to get in the room we'd sit here and watch film with them and he loved watching tape and you know, then we get back in the room, he'd look at the boards again, and you know, he'd shoot off to Powell's, you know, he'd get bored with us, and, and then he would shoot off and he'd go to Powell's for a couple of hours, and, and you know, he had his routine, and it was just, it was fun, and it kept us engaged, because you know, for us, you know, once we locked the boards in last night, we had trade calls today, and you know, we were receiving calls, and we, you know, we kind of chummed the waters around the league the last couple of days, see if there were any deals more for July 1st, you know, more bigger deals. Um, but it really was a different experience for us today without Paul kind of, you know, can we get him? Can we get him? Move up. You know, can we, can we buy a second? Go ahead. But get, we'll give him four million. Give him five million. You know, like, but, he, but he's up there. He's still on the board. Like, you know, it, it just, and no matter what the plan was going in, you know, Paul, he always said he was an all of the above guy. You know, we'd say, well, we have these three guys, whichever one we get to. And he would say, well, I'm all of the above. Like, can we get them all? And, and, you know, and, and, and it was, it was it was different and you know i think everybody in the room felt a huge void it just didn't have the same energy you know we you know we get st not stale jason but we can get a little agnostic about it you know you, you spend two months working on it after the season and you're battling and you're grinding down the board and you're watching tape and you're doing your intel and your interviews and your workouts and, and after a while like you know you just you do your you do your board right and then there was always this infusion of energy when Paul came in and you had to almost start from scratch because he liked the action, right? Like he didn't want to know the boards were set, right? He wanted to scramble it up again, you know? I feel like this would have been a pick that he would have been like, oh, oh my, my God. God, he would have been losing it. Like if he would have looked and said, well, we have him over here. Can he really get to us? Can he really get to us? But, you know, it was, you know, we, look, we didn't have the other thing to go move up, you know, to get Nasir. We were going to have to just have it break our way that would have been completely unacceptable <laughs> if Paul was here. Once he saw what, which tier he was in and what tier we were selecting from, believe me, like, there would have, money would have been thrown around in future seconds and whatever else we needed to do to make sure we absolutely got him instead of being content to get the other guys we'd anticipated getting at you know, 4 o'clock when, you know, when the draft started. So, um, you know, I, I, and I think it's, you know, we're, we haven't been through this grief cycle yet, right? You know, we got through the season then the playoffs, you know, now we've been through a draft, but, you know, tomorrow there would have, he would have been on a plane to Wimbledon, and tonight on the way home he would have been sending me every writer that wrote up whether we, we drafted well or didn't draft well and what people were saying and any comments and what are your thoughts, and then we would have gotten into free agency and, you know, have you heard from Dame, have you heard from CJ, do they like him, and, you know, like, and, and you know, and we talked about it tonight, we said, you know, it just sucks right you know for nine months what he, like like the, the way things have gone over the last nine months he deserved that you know i was down at city hall and i know we're going longer jim but i was down at city hall for the proclamation you know that terry and i went to and dwight was there and i said you know I, I, i'm glad they were recognizing how lucky the city was for all those years to have paul and to have a big market owner 
that supported this team as if we were in New York or LA, you know what I mean? And, and not, never, never considering payroll as a factor or an impediment to building a team and, you know, driving everyone, you know, to, to make deals and build the roster and, you know, and he really did do it. He really just believed in the Portland Trailblazers. It was his famous, no offense to the Seahawks, but it was his favorite property. And, you know, that was his, that was his firstborn, basically, besides Microsoft. And, you know, for him not to be able to share in that, it, it, it's, it's sad. And we've all been kind of dealing with it. It's been tough.